Well, after a big campaign, Animal Defence International secured a ban on the use of wild animals in circuses in Peru and uh, also Colombia and several other South American countries. Now, one of the hugest challenges that faces animal protection and conservation is not so much getting the laws, but how do you actually enforce these laws? And so ADI made a commitment as we were securing those laws that if they were passed, we would help the authorities enforce them, that we, we would help rescue the animals. We did so in Bolivia and that encouraged many countries to follow suit. Peru has been the biggest challenge we've ever faced. We've rescued over 100 animals there of six different species of, of monkey. We've rescued bears, birds, masses of different animals. We have to deal with everything that we encounter. What ADI does, we go into the country, we set up temporary facilities and we keep going until we get the job done. We began this just over 18 months ago with surprise raids on all of the circuses and we managed to raid almost half of them and get their animals. The rest went underground. But over the following nine months, we tracked every single one down, one after the other. We got tip-offs from the public, and we would go in with the police and the authorities. And these were difficult seizures. We had SWAT teams with us, we had riot police with us sometimes. Very, very fractious confrontations. We then had to travel thousands of miles. We've taken lions over the Andes four times in this operation to get them to our rescue centre. And then since then, as we've gone out, found the homes for the animals, done building work at the homes like Imoya, and uh, got all the paperwork done and all the permits, we've steadily relocated all of these animals. And this really is the pinnacle. Taking these lions who have suffered so much, we were taking these animals from cages the size of a double bed, bare boards, metal bar, top and bottom and that had been their entire life and they've had their claws removed, they've been seriously mutilated, they cut the toes off. Some of these lions have had their teeth smashed, one old boy called Leo has had every single canine tooth smashed in his head. So these animals will always have to be looked after, they can't go back to the wild but they can go home and they're going back to where nature intended and it really is I think one of the proudest moments of my life to have brought these battered old lions home to Africa and just listen to them it's almost like they know their home